today I'll show you how to transform a boring tin of baked beans. So don't get me wrong, I do love classic Heinz baked beans. They're really nostalgic and bring back a lot of childhood memories. But I've got to say, a little bit bland. So let me show you how to beef them up a little bit with some everyday ingredients everyone should have knocking around in their kitchen. And so you want to pop a high walled frying pan or a saucepan onto the hob, turn the heat to medium, and you want to start by chucking in a teaspoon or so of some unsalted butter. Next up, you want to add a nice sprinkle of some chili flakes. Once the butter is foamy, you want to chuck in a teaspoon or two of some tomato paste. Roast off the tomato paste for about a minute or two, and then the star of the show, our Heinz baked beans. So chuck in a couple of tins of your beans, give them a good stir, mix in the tomato paste and the chili, and then to add a touch more sweetness, you want some runny honey. So go in with about a teaspoon, maybe two, of your runny honey, stir that through, and next up, some apple cider vinegar. Add a little splash of your apple cider vinegar and then some spicy and classic Worcestershire sauce and add a nice splash into the beans. And then to add some lovely smokiness, we want about a teaspoon of some smoked paprika. And to go with the smoked paprika, you want about a third of a teaspoon of some chili powder. Also go in with about a third or a half a teaspoon of some cumin. And lastly, you want to chuck in a nice sprinkle of some dried herbs. Give everything a really good stir and you want to reduce down the beans so they're really nice and thick and gooey and delicious. You can reduce them down less so they're a bit more saucy. This is really up to you. Give them a quick taste and it's likely you're going to need to add a touch of seasoning. So throw in a nice pinch of salt and a few twists of some freshly ground black pepper. Reduce them down to the thickness that you want and then you want to finish with another teaspoon or so of some butter. Give the butter a good stir through and then you're ready to go. So give this little beans hack a try. You won't be disappointed and I'll see you next time.